Hi, my name is Mark, and today I'm going to show you how to restart a printer after a power failure. We have power failures all the time, and when you get a power failure, your biggest fear is that you've been working on a piece for days now, and you just had a power failure unexpectedly, and what does that do to all your hard work? Well, we're going to find out now when you can actually restart your printer to restart printing. These printers come with the technology to do that. So let's get started. So here's my 3D printer and it's starting the printing of Ubuntu. And everything starts out normal, just like before. It lays down my little wrap that I'm using on there, and it just prints and prints and prints. But what happens when the power fails? Now this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes it happens. What are you supposed to do? This video is gonna show you that. So as you can see, my boat is printing behind me on the printer. Now I'm going to remove power from that now, so uh, it will stop and simulate a power failure. And then I'm going to restart the printer and I'm going to show you the software, or the, where on the control panel I select restart the printer to keep, make sure that I can keep printing what I'm doing now. Okay, so here we go, we're going to disconnect the power. So the way I'm going to simulate this is just to unplug the Unplug it right I have killed the power. There has been a power interruption. Now I'm going to show you how to resume printing after a power interruption. Okay, so I've got this back on. And now I have to press this button here. And then I have to resume print. All you do is press resume print. And uh, you might have to tune it because the nozzle is not set to 200. So I'm going to set this to 200. Once it gets to 200, it should resume printing. 200, there we go. Now this is at 200. Go to the info screen and you can watch the temperature rise. Right now it's 35, the bed is 44. So the temperature has to be 200 before it starts printing. Uh, as it gets hot, the nozzle gets hot. We'll see, uh, it needs, it's gonna melt the PLA right on the top. And then hopefully, we'll see what happens. It's at 200, so let's see what happens to the printer. It should start working, there it goes. Coming back to life. Careful when you do that, you burn yourself. And there it goes, moving slowly across to the project. Hopefully, it will work. I do see on the bottom it's raised up a little. This could be a problem. Will it finish? Maybe I should tape that down. Just in case. I like masking tape because it goes down and sticks. Hopefully it won't move. And, and it started. And that is it. Okay, and that is it. That's how you start your printer after a power failure. If you have any questions, send me an email at mhefner at nis.ac.th. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.